Greetings Captains, Gunship here. Hope you're doing well. Today we have a replay file. This is from one of our people at iNavy, one of our players. His name is F4 Phantom and he's out on his Shornhorst. Now we start the battle roughly about five minutes in. The enemy has captured the A and the B point. He did earlier send out a float plane to try and take A, but that got shot down. So he's made his way over to the C point. He launched a couple of torpedoes, as you can, can see, they're sort of sailing, well, making their way parallel to his ship at the moment. Now we have an enemy Sean Horst also in front of him. Now I'm keeping this perspective on at the moment, just so you can see how the torpedoes are are in the water and you can see the enemy Sean Horst are sending a couple of torpedoes his way which he is now trying to avoid. He's also self-launched a couple of more torpedoes you can see they come out at the, near the back of his ship and they are going over towards the enemy Sean Horst. There's also quite a few other ships further up but for now let's just look at the torpedo battle essentially between those two ships here. Now the enemy Sean Horst launched a couple of more torpedoes and he's now making his, his turn to the left here to try and, and hope to avoid them but I think that he's gonna eat one of them. Now um, the Phantom's torpedoes hit the Sean Horst there in the middle and took it out so that Sean Horst is now almost dead or dying at least it is going down and so we're going to change our perspective view here in a second so I want to concentrate more if you've been able to see it from the player's perspective so this is the replay file but it's, it's done purely out from Phantom's perspective as he was playing the game now I did two recordings of the file so in the top top right you can see the sort of overview um, because it's sort of interesting to see how he's sailing his ship around as well. Now he's softly uh, fighting uh, a lot of enemy ships. He took care of a, a little boat. There's an SKR-1 there. Uh, that will probably be taken care of. Um, but he's basically using the island here as a bit of cover. Uh, as you can see, he's trying to recover from that uh, torpedo impact he had in front of his ship. And you can see that down the, the bottom left there on the overview of the ship. It's, it's quite red at the front. and. Uh, He's had a good peppering all around, and as you can see, he is uh, leaning a little bit, although it might just be that he sort of hit the ground on the island there as well. Now he gets a, a good hit there on a Setsu, and that's dead, and here's another one, uh, Admiral Graf Spey, that also goes down, so doing well. Now he used smoke there to conceal himself a little bit the best he could. We got a Chapayev coming in here, and a couple of seconds here, you can see he's launching torpedoes now in the smoke. That's quite clever, really. And with a bit of luck, that might take care of that destroyer. And here we go. A very nice torpedo hit on the Chapayev. He is down. So now we can see what else we have out there. So we've got the Susuya out there. We've got another Graf Spey to content ourselves with as well. Um, that's a, a light cruise and not a bit further along. But, but really for the sea point that is now looking a lot better now that it's captured. Uh, our friendly team has also managed to get the A point back. So as you can see the, the ticket bleed has stopped at the top there and uh, we are now in the in the driving seat of, of this engagement. So, so Suya takes a, pretty much a one-shot load uh, that he is using AP shells uh, for this and he can now concentrate on the Graf Spey. very fine armor rack on the spay so that is now out of the picture we are now seven ship kills down and uh, we also managed a plane somewhere along the line it's probably the AA that took care of that now we've got a pesky 206 coming from behind I think that is just a a bot but uh, it's probably best to get rid of it anyway The 
tone is coming in now <laughs> the tone has all it's gone in the front and it's it's a great ship I really like the tone but it is very susceptible to armor racks in that uh, front area of of the ship and uh, that's exactly what Phantom here is uh, is aiming for side and see if that takes care of business yep there it goes Tony is gone we've got two cap point uh, we're about equal on on tickets so uh, it's, it's going well and here we got a front of tan coming in now I used to absolutely love the Fonda Tan, and it's still a good ship, but the, the Sean Horst and Paris Communis and stuff like that, it's, it's seen better days, shall we say. Now we can see there's some torpedoes in the waters there, uh, coming toward us, so that's why he is now steaming ahead. We also got a Chapayev in, in front of us there that we might have to, to deal with. So, first things first. Let's not get torpedoed ourselves and at the same time send a few board sides toward the under tan hoping to armor rack him as well. And there he goes. Prince Jurgen, a bit squishy at this battle rating. And uh, yeah, it got blackened his board side. I don't know if it's gonna go down, but it's uh, He's definitely got a few things to think about. Now, we're gonna have to try and hit this uh, Chapaya a few times. It does look a little bit low in the water, so uh, that probably won't be, be long before he is down. And you can see, yeah, he's only at 5% with a 10% buoyancy, so that is probably limited how long he's gonna stay afloat. And indeed, he uh, is succumbing as well. Battle is progressing well now. We've got the majority of the tickets, and we are bleeding it down on on the enemy. And also, our friendly fleet is, uh, as you can see from the picture in the bottom right, uh, are certainly getting around the the B point. So uh, maybe we will also get get that one. We'll have to wait and see for that. So we'll just continue to to sail away in a sort of circle to. Now be out technically in, in open waters between us and, and the enemy here. Um, and we will just continue taking down cruisers as we go along. There's nothing really there that is of any consequence any longer that can really make a threat to the to the Sean Horst. None of the cruisers that, unless they fire torpedoes at it, uh, they have to be a very lucky shot to uh, to take them out. And uh, that was quite a decent hit on the on the Leipzig there. And as you can see, the Leipzig is, is trying to turn to uh, say thank you very much. I, I don't need any more of those, please. So he's trying to turn his bow towards us to uh, to lower his profile a little bit. Another Oregon should hit a little bit further forward with that, but uh, I think we will uh, allow that uh, misinterpretation of the shot now. Doing pretty well so far. This is also my first time of actually using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. I normally use a, a program called Camtasia to make my videos. Uh, so I've had a lot of fun in game trying to uh, understand how that works. Uh, I've watched a few YouTube videos, as you do. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see uh, what you say. I hope that I can possibly post this video in full 4K resolution, but uh, that remains to be seen, that remains to be seen, and uh, there that ship goes down, so that is 
good news. We are now up to 11 kills and the battle is almost over. So, uh, you know, a, a very good good battle indeed. Uh, and just shows how powerful this, this ship is. Uh, in the right hands, Phantom did a very good job on it. And uh, he was probably slightly lucky to make sure he uh, killed that first... Uh, Sean Horst with the, with the torpedoes, but uh, a little luck is uh, is a good preparation meeting opportunity, right? And uh, he almost managed to take this uh, set 43 down as well, but uh, the battle just finished just about now. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little replay. I hope it was interesting. And as you can see here, 23,378 points of damage. And uh, yeah, a very good battle. So thank you for the replay file. I'll see you next time.